what's up guys, my name Cole, and it has been almost two weeks since Watch Dogs Legion was released, and it is no secret that it isn't the most optimized game to come out in the past few years. So today I thought I'd make this video just talking about a few tips that can reduce your lag and improve your frame rate in Watch Dogs Legion. And a lot of these are just general tips that you can try and they should be able to improve your frame rate in most games in general. So yeah, let's get into it. The first one is one which I will tell you, a bunch of other people will tell you, is check your drivers. Are your drivers updated? I'm not sure about AMD, but I'm sure they have an app and a website for that. But for NVIDIA, there's GeForce Experience that you can get notifications when your drivers need to be updated. They also have the manual driver install on their website. I'll have both links to those in the description, by the way, guys, if you want to go check that out. I feel like a lot of people do actually forget to update your drivers. And I, you know, I'm, I'm a culprit too. I've been known to forget my drivers for months at a time but it is really really important and especially in the case of a game like Watch Dogs Legion while the drivers they released the day after the game came out didn't really do much for me personally they could have helped somebody and I've actually had two driver updates and I haven't played the game since the most recent driver update so that could have fixed a lot of the issues so it's definitely important to make sure that your drivers are updated. Another thing you can do is make sure you don't have a lot of programs that you don't need open while you're playing the game. I usually just close everything, but if you have to keep some stuff open, if you go down here in the bottom right of your taskbar, there should be a little up arrow. You can click on that and it'll show all of your, or most of your programs open, like Discord and Spotify and whatever else you have open. Right click and then exit. Usually it'll have like a little menu and then you can press exit or quit. Or if there are a lot of programs that you don't use on the daily and you want to get rid of them, this is just an in general tip. If you go to task manager, you can do that by pressing control shift escape and then go over to the startup tab. These are all the programs that will open on startup. So when you start your computer, when you turn it on, all of these programs, all the programs that say enabled are the ones that will be opened on startup. Now, if you don't want any of these to be open on startup, you can just go ahead, right click and disable all of them. I have a few, I have like three that I have on startup, but uh, besides that, everything else is disabled. And a lot of this can actually, if you've been having trouble with your computer starting up and it's just been taking a long, long, long time, then this actually could help it a lot. The third tip is that if you have a second monitor or even a, a single monitor, make sure to minimize, if you have Discord open or, or Spotify or Chrome or whatever, make sure to minimize it in your second monitor because I noticed this, I would have Discord up and I, I use this for most games. I've Discord on the left monitor, I'll play my game on the right. But I noticed when I minimized it while I had Legion open, it actually improved my frame rate a lot. I didn't have the FPS counter on, but it was very, very visibly smoother playing without the Discord thing open. And also you wanna make sure you're not watching anyone stream or, or just doing anything with video, moving images besides Legion while you're playing Legion. So watching a video or, or just having someone share the screen on Discord can honestly impact your FPS a lot from what I've found. So you wanna make sure that that is off. And the last tip that I have for you guys for optimization, I know there are tools like GeForce Experience which will auto-optimize your games and actually the game has an auto optimizer, but I find that sometimes it doesn't really work as well as it should. The game's auto optimizer set my settings from medium to high and it was laggy. And then the GeForce Experience auto optimizer set it closer to most settings to low. So I don't really use those in games because I find they're pretty inaccurate. So what I usually do, this is my method of finding out which graphics settings I can run at is I set everything to low, the lowest setting possible, and then test my FPS there. And then I will raise one setting that I want to raise, not something that, you know, I think would be cool. Like I really don't like playing games with low anti-aliasing. So that's usually one of the first things that I raise. I'll raise the anti-aliasing up, up a notch or two and see if my FPS is still stable. If it's still stable, then I'll raise something else. You kind of have to find that balance between performance and fidelity. And once you find that, then that'll be good to play at. Unfortunately, a lot of people, myself including, will probably have to stick on low for a while. And it's not necessarily that we have bad system. There's been instability reports for Legion just or for people with 3080s getting 40 to 60 FPS. And it's like it, that literally makes zero sense. So yeah, I hope these tips could help you guys today. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comment section below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. I'm actually considering doing another video, doing some more testing after this most recent driver update. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.